I just got back from Manila and my life will never be the same again. Just so you know, for every thousand people that watch this video, We Are Change will donate at least one dollar towards True Manila. It's not a charity organization scam like the Red Cross that takes all the money for themselves and never helps people and has a CEO that earns six figures. It's actually just one guy who volunteers his time and he does everything for his community. He gives them food, he gives them clothes, he helps build homes, he makes sure kids go to school, and he gives them everything he can to help the people who need it most. You can too by sharing this video. Here's my journey with them. In my last video, you saw me totally broken down, depressed, defeated against the globalists because I couldn't help two local street kids that I bonded with in Manila. I had two choices that night. I could have continued on like the rest of the tourists in the Philippines who go to Manila for one day and then go to beautiful beaches like Palawan and Cebu and all these amazing natural wonders. Or I could have stayed in the urban slum of Manila and did everything I could to help and fight. Luckily, I met amazing people who are already doing that work. Okay, so welcome to True Manila. <laughs> We're going to the community where we are visiting my friends. And I have more than 100 friends here. And they're all in the kitchen. You can actually see some of them. Yeah. This place that we're going to visit is the community where I live. Okay, so uh, once we are there, I will let you experience uh, uh, simple things that we are doing daily, on a daily basis as a Filipino. What we're going to do today is we're going to, uh, uh, you are going to help me <laughs> uh, prepare some rice and some food that we're going to feed with the kids. But today, because uh, you are here with me, what we're going to do is we're actually uh, packing a uh, rice that's uh, that we were going to give we will going we're going to give to the family that we are supporting weekly on a weekly basis okay uh, in this family each family they have kids that we're supporting with their education so to keep them going to school they should be fed because their parents are working hard but not earning much and uh, uh, because I know them, I know I see them every day, not really know them. I, I always see them every day. I know the jobs of their parents. I came up with the idea of helping them when people are helping, uh, when people are sending help. So we have 55 pieces of noodles, 100 pieces of sweets, 40 ki uh, how many bags of rice we have? 10. 10, 30 kilos of rice, and then uh, that's all. There's a bag of uh, clothes. We'll just give it today because uh, uh, in the community that we will visit, there was a fire four months ago. So the people uh, need the clothes or toys or whatever. Since our friends are all small kids and we know and we can see what they need, we decided to help them by providing for food before they go to school and paying whatever they need in school. So where are we getting the fund? The fund we're getting it when, when I'm selling the t-shirt and if people wants to buy. But uh, I don't want them to look like, uh, I don't want them to think that I'm doing it on a business because uh, the t-shirt, uh, all of the proceeds of the t-shirt goes to them, to the kids. That's it. <laughs> It's all gone. 100 pieces, that's it. Well. Okay, now let's go with the... I told you earlier, the education and food for street kids. I'll introduce you to one of the family that we're helping. Hello, Nai. Hi. How are you? This is Jemalin. How many years are you? 14. She's now 14 when we met her, only last year. And then uh, I found out that they don't have electricity here. So what we did is we donated, our, our friend donated this uh, light wherein you can, uh, there's a solar wherein you can recharge it through solar and then have the light, uh, use the light at, at night because we cannot afford to provide for the electricity. We decided to provide with the light that they can use so she can study. Her sponsor uh, sent something for her 
we were taking pictures of the things that her sponsor sent and then give it to her and then give it give the pictures back to her sponsor right now we don't have a particular sponsor sponsoring here so if we are getting any help from friends we're just distributing it accordingly to uh, equally to all the kids that we're helping so we're helping from grade one up to ano grade you know, man? grade nine so now she's grade nine and she's very shy okay her mom and dad uh, her mom's job is uh, washing clothes nai yeah. So her job is washing clothes and her dad is uh, selling soya in the street. Every day her dad is only earning 150 to 250 pesos. So yeah, uh, when we have something we try to help them. Right now. Okay. So that's okay, so that's our first family that we're helping. Okay. Now you can bring this again. And let's bring this again. So we're going house to house. <laughs> okay, so earlier I was mentioning to you that uh, when we, we found the five kids uh, sleeping in the street and then uh, we decided to create a program wherein we can help them. Uh, we can help them by building a shelter for them. So we started with the project December 14, 2014 and then on December 31, we finished this. <laughs> 50 people help us in building this uh, four-story house and on the fourth floor there's also more or less six families but where do they sleep they sleep here and you know they so just many people yeah sleep in there. how many they, people sleep in here uh, 10 to 12 people including a baby wow 10 to 12 people yeah. Yeah. so from third floor they divided the floor in two so this is a family living here and a family living here. Here, 10 to 12 people are living here, including a ba baby. Here, four families, including a baby. So, and this is the baby who lives here. This is, uh, ano pangalan nito? Uh, sino? Jan Rainbow. Jan. Her na his name is Jan and he's my godson. Can you show? And he's sleeping. <laughs> so he lives here. And also this uh, kid lives here. Her name is Danica. And there's another kid here. Where are you from? <laughs> she lives here upstairs. There's a lot of kids here, like almost 30 kids living in, in these four floors. This house is a victim of fire four months ago. And this is where I live. So now we're rebuilding our house. And it's not yet finished. It's been four months. So it's very slow, but uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Hopefully we can move in back here uh, in a month. We have another project here. After the fire happened last June 24, what we did is uh, uh, Darren and I started uh, fundraising online, GoFundMe. And then uh, in a span of uh, three months, we managed to get uh, donations of more or less $5,000 on and offline uh, donations. And we literally help each house here build their house. So each house, we're helping them. Wow. He's kind of deaf. He doesn't really talk. He's a bit of a new. So. Uh, I always give him a little ride whenever I'm here. <laughs> he just kind of points me in which direction he wants me to go and I just go that way. Can I ask you, why do you do this? <laughs> Can you tell from all this? <laughs> These kids are amazing. So, oh is this your family? Yeah, this is my family. Micah, say hi to the camera. I'm going to introduce you to... Okay, this is Micah and he's the best of the family. And he's shy. And she's like going to school every day. And she behaves really well and take care of her, takes care of her brother and siblings. It's the family. Say hi. <laughs> the latest project I added is uh, every time I have True Manila, I have uh, this uh, set of uh, 10 sets of uh, broom and then each foreigner with me can help out in uh, cleaning the community. They can get involved and then they can also do it with the kids so that it's like teaching the kids how to clean the community while they are still young. So yeah, now I'm going to show you one more project that we just did last week. Okay, let's go. 
2013, I went to New York. For five months, I was there, and then I saw, I saw urban farming while while I was in Manhattan, and in uh, near Brooklyn. So, what I did is I adopt this idea in my community, but slowly. Okay. okay so that's our last project in True Manila community, urban urban farming. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Moa, for the donation. Okay. Oh, mga mga kapit ba sa klip muna. Sabihin lang natin, thank you sa'yo, Moa, okay? One, two, three. Thank you sa'yo, Moa! Thank you sa'yo, Moa! says money give me money I look at him <laughs> I'm like no I never give money to street kids especially you may consider me a jerk for saying that but consider the fact that a lot of these street kids have abusive parents who are drug addicts or alcoholics and send these kids out there to fuel their addiction or worse a local gang that uses these little kids to extra